It's particularly noisy in the hangar today. They're building a new storage area above the workshop office. All the way to the now on the leading edge. This is the leading edge of the Lancaster Wing, NX664, the one Keith is working on. He's gone as far as he can go with regards to riveting until it's fitted onto the main wing. He's covered it up with polythene, making it look like a large airfix kit, fitting tissue to the wing and waiting for a coat of dope. And you've completed the um, <coughs> leading edge, have you? Yeah, that's where it'll be fitted. Yeah. I know. <coughs> so I don't miss it, how long do you think it'll be before you're ready to go? I don't know. No. It's up to them where they put it up. No. They've got to find some way of supporting it while it's up there, yet. Yeah. Isn't it? Wouldn't it be fastened to the jig end at that end? There's no support on the jig. If you kept those arms what came out, you put the... Um, um, yeah, but they're on top. Yeah. I'll let you sort that one out then. Down to this man. Oh, it's John boy. Now well, John will tell us. When we, when we go and grab the um, leading edge put on, John. When he's finished it. He's finished the leading edge. No, he hasn't. And he? No, no, he's got a couple of brackets to stick on yet. Oh, oh, you never tell me. <laughs> So it'll be in the next month. Sooner. Well, hopefully. Yeah. Um, then we've got to devise a way of sort of lifting it up there. Yeah. Um, we've, we've found some. Um, what, Bob, what Bob calls uh, Manchester beams. Which you use for taking wings on and off. Yeah. And it consists of two uprights and, and uh, um, a steady underneath. Yeah. Which is moved up and down by winches on, on chains on, on, on the uprights. You used them since, since the war. Yeah. Why them not to do it? But 1970s. Right? Mm. So we've got to try and recommission them somehow. So then can, but what, what we want to do, we can lift it up with a Merlot. Yeah. With, with a teleporter, but we need to position each one of those ribs the right side of the bracket that's on the um, on the leading edge. Mm -hmm. We need a lot of people to do that. Plus, yeah. plus the thing will be sort of teetering yeah. around. So we have to go up at an angle as well. Um, hopefully, get... hopefully not. It should be at the centre of balance. Yeah, but I mean, the leading, the the wings at well, an yeah, angle. Yeah, 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 slightly. Yeah, that, that, that's not a problem. Yeah, but what? What we really need to do there is to have it up and resting on something so we can bring it down nice and slowly yeah. and get positioned and those Manchester beams would, would do, do the job absolutely perfectly. Have you got them? Yeah, but they've been sat up on top of a, an old railway carriage at the back of the old MT shed for mm -hmm. since well, nearly when I was a boy anyway, so they're a bit mucky and a bit rusty. Mm -hmm. so, they need, they need so they need work on before they'll come into play. Yeah. We'll use them to hope, hopefully to take the wing iron off. Yeah. They'll have to go away to test them. Oh well make sure they still yeah. take the weight. Right, okay John. If you do get it going on sometime, and I don't know, can you give us a ring and tell me you're putting it on tomorrow or something yeah, like that? Yeah, you just come in and it's on. Yeah. That's what we usually do. Ah oh, we did it yesterday, mate. Yeah. Should have been here yesterday. Is this the piece where you had the steel plate on? Is it what? Is this the piece of work it where you is. had the steel plate? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. It's like voodoo, this stuff. <laughs> Can it? You hit it with a hammer and it twists and bends all shapes. All oh, different directions. Oh, it does. It does. It's 
twist my melon. The starboard side, is it? Yeah, if you like that side. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Okay. So, what we've got done here now then? All these yeah, four. Yes, yeah, so I'm just popped over to the other side now and then work my way back and do the door frame last. Yeah. You're doing the so door frame last, are you? Last, yeah. yeah. And you drill the holes in to join the formers together, yeah? At the bottom and top. Up, down? Yeah. I've just, uh, all I've done is done the jigging pin hole. Oh, so, I see, you haven't done the uh, rivet holes. No, holes. no, I'll do them last because some the um, intercostals go down the centre and they also pick up on them as well. So I thought I'll wait till the intercostals are made, fitted, and then, just pick, then I can pitch all the holes in. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Good. Mm. You know, on this side, you've got the controls for the control rods here. Yeah. yeah. Have you. Put the hole in for that. No, no, we can do that um, in situ like we did with the last one. Did that worked out all right. We've got, we've got the original to um, the drawings give us dimensions anyway, so they're quite easy to put in, in situ really. Yeah, right. yeah. I just thought um, until it's riveted up, it might still, if we did them now and then we riveted it up, it could still move slightly. Yeah. So, which would then put the control rod holes out. And they are quite critical, obviously. So yeah. um, I thought once it's all riveted up, then then put them in, and then nothing's going to move and bang on then. Yeah. That's I see. Cool. Yeah, it's coming on now. Mm. And those first two are painted. Yeah. They're in. Yeah. And it's going to. If it gets time while he's in, Mike, he's going to paint some more. So I'll probably give them them two as well to paint. Yeah. Yeah. Just every time he's in for a week, I'll just give him another two. Yeah. He's doing a bit of your don't work. I know. Has yeah. he got a license for this operation? I'm throwing him a few bits of advice in there, so yeah. yeah. Is that why he's the honest third one? <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, word's got round, hasn't it? <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> yeah, I did a piece. I did a piece earlier on, so I did that. Yeah. And as you fold it, it will score like a banana. Yeah. So you've got to get to it stretches and shrinkers to bring it back to right shape. So because the one I'm putting on, the new one, now it's just got a 90 degrees that it goes over again, so it's, it's got a lip on it. So when I put that lip on it, it went back to being a banana again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, once you've got that lip on it, you can't use them stretches and shrinkers then no, to no. get it straight. So we had to use a hammer, put a block under it, bend it on, hammer, yeah. a stretching hammer to try and stretch it back out. And we got it, I got it more or less, more or less right. Yeah. Put it on bent, just have a slight curve in it. I can't have a slight curve. I thought, I'll give it a little bit of, a bit oh, of a coercing. Yeah. And as I coerced it, it went, <laughs> split right down the top. <laughs> Straight in that bin it went. <laughs> So, ding ding, round two. Oh, I didn't know that when I said that. Well, I said that then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love it straight it then. I've got a new one now. Yeah. Right, tap that edge down then. Like it could be, you could probably tap it down and open it out, push it down a bit. Like the bit before. Yeah. I'll get that block.
If you remember, Chris is working on the front nose section of the fuselage of the French Lancaster NX664. This section will be fitted to the Lancaster Just Jane NX611. Looking at NX611's nose, from the Bombay doors to the Bombaymers blister, this is the area which will be replaced and restored to airworthy condition, then be fitted back onto Just Jane NX611. The nose section of NX664 will be returned to France and fitted on the Lancaster, it will be in a static display. How many have we actually got in now? Stringers? Stringers, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and some little ones at the back, eight. With the cleats on as well? Yeah. Oh, that's good then. We're going to do these three next. Yeah. Do you do them alternate? Leave I've tried that. to, yeah, 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 so I'll do the, I'll probably do the middle one first and then do the other one to the other side yeah. of it. But I just want to, we, because we're getting some new material through the clip, through the joggled ones, I'll put the old one back in just to uh, hold it. Are you getting some new, more new material now? Apparently, yeah. Oh. So you haven't got too long to wait, because you... I don't know. Oh. <laughs> ah. Can't answer that one. No. But with this, with, they found somewhere in, in England that can make it. Oh, I guess. But it's shorter, it's not as long as these bits. Yeah. The most they can do is 3.2 metres. What is that in English? About 10 foot. Okay. 10 and a half foot. Will that be long enough for some of them, will it? Be long enough for most of them, but just, just a couple of them it won't be. Yeah. And have you got some of the long ones left? Yeah. We're going to use the, the long stuff to make the non joggled ones, and then we're going to get the new material to make the joggled ones. Yeah. Because it needs to be softer. Yeah, how does it? What has he made that 800 he was making? He's, he's made a few. Made a few. Terry's oh, been making a few as well. Yeah. yeah. Which is the longer ones. And then you've got these, these ones here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Some new ones are over there back here. Why do they, why are they different, Tim? Yeah, it's just I think these ones, because you need to get access here, you need to get access to the um, control rods. Oh, I see, yeah. So you can't have them going that way. No. It's not there, uh, out of the place. No. And I imagine, I don't know yet, but I imagine they get new um, control tubes. No. Control tubes themselves, tubes. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the old ones aren't, aren't yeah. in the best condition. No. The ones what in the Lancaster at the moment? Yeah. Yeah. Are they just uh, an aluminium tube or are they special? It's an aluminium tube, but it'll, it'll be a special, specially made. Yeah. Certain, certain lengths and stuff like that. Yeah. Will you be able to use the end pieces with the, the connections on? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I would imagine not. No. So it's complete, use it all together. Martin was doing the tappets. So That's right. right, it was, yes. Since um, we've had the head off and the head gasket replaced. Yeah. yeah. Martin and Brad have been working on the David Brown tractor, which will now be ready for this year's air show on August the 5th, 2023. Once again, the tickets for the air show are sold out. Yeah. 
we've got a new <coughs> voltage regulator for it, which is going to go on whenever Spen's back in, probably Friday. Genuine Lucas one. Oh. But, uh, yeah. no, it's, a, it's nice to have it back. Yeah. Just ride right for the air show. Yep, and hopefully we'll have a little Fordson running for the air show as well. Oh, will yeah. 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 It was running and now it's not running again. Yeah. Well, you use that for the Mozzie. Mm. Yeah. And I've towed the Mozzie and the B25 with it and it's really, really nice. Yeah. Is that on the concrete or not on the grass? Both. Both. Both, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 there's loads of power there. This class does then air traffic control. Correct. Fun? Correct. Yep. Portable Flight Control Centre is another project they will have ready for the air show. Air traffic control caravan. Yeah. Done a good job, Mark, haven't you? It's been quite uh, testing on the old brain. Why was that? Oh, well, you can't just mask off a crisscross and then no. do one square red and one white. No. Show me. I'll show you around here. This is Mike the painter. Did I looked at this why you had um, done it that way? Yeah, because it the red yeah. has to meet that red right on the corner. So you can't just mask a line there. No. So I've been doing a line down as a guideline yeah. and then you have to move one of these lines one side or the other to be able to yeah. get them to do that on each one so uh, red white so they join like that yeah if you just did them it doesn't work yeah. so it takes yeah. a little bit of yeah. thank god i finished with it now because it's uh it's, yeah. It looks good though, doesn't it, the other side? It's alright, yeah, I've been painting, takes about two minutes. Just do a white mic, all red, <laughs> all black. When those, when those lads were leaving on the third... Looks good. They were about to go, and I was like, look, I was walking out and I said, mate, you're fucking bad tires again. I've only changed it once, so that was about well, so 50 PSI looks like you get out. In, uh, in your last video, you had Phil talking about the uh, million, million pebble oh, yes. poppy drop, the first one. Yeah. You want the second instalment? Well, I do know it. I was on BBMF at the time. Oh, were you? Yeah, yeah the, mil the, the million poppy drop part, part two, oh. basically. Yeah, yeah with Phil and his boys had. Um, Done, done all the work on the bomb bay and done the test drops at Waynefleet. Um, when it was actually going to drop the poppies on, on the Canberra, it was going to go to the South End air show on the Saturday, drop the poppies on the Sunday, and then come back. So it took off. The Lancaster Spit and Hurricane took off on the Friday. We saw them out, they took off and they were going away. And there was like a, a thin sort of brown trail coming out the uh, uh, port outer engine, the number one engine. And the Spitfire slipped behind it, had a look at it, went back and then the lank turned back for Coningsby. What's going on? And when it come back, the uh, supercharger bearing at the back had given in. It's a plain bearing, it's quite a common occurrence. 
oil everywhere. We had a, we had a million, million poppies in the bomb bay and, and a tough engine. What are we going to do? So we decided to work a night shift and change the engine, which we did. We ran it on the Saturday morning to make sure it was all right. And then they took off the south end. We wire locked the bomb bay control, open, open and close control. We wire locked it to the closed position just in case when they were doing the dis display at south end, they didn't. So, oh, just open the bomb door. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah. So that was why I like shot and it, uh, it went and dropped his poppy over the canvas on the Sunday Not a successful yeah. trip it was. So that was an additional to film It, it certainly was. It went quite well with the viewers, um, um, that did the, the poppy drop. Yeah. yeah. But if, it, if that was just a normal sort of air show yeah. weekend, yeah. It, the, the, the light would have been scrubbed. But, but because we had all these poppies in the bomb bay, it was like, oh my word, it's got to go. Yeah. So we had to work a night shift oh, and change good. the engine. And we got it done okay. We certainly did. Yeah. And um, a couple of weeks ago, we did the uh, Hurricane have the same trouble with the supercharger bearing or something? Oh, they, 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 they've had a few go in, 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 at various stages at the time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's just a, it's just a plain bearing, isn't it? and if, if if the oil flow is not quite good enough, it it doesn't take long for it to yeah. go for a burden, as you say. Yeah. yeah, one of those things. Change the supercharger, take take, take the engine out, and yeah. get it rebuilt, basically. Oh, good. I won't get on this stuff. Be on the following stuff. Yeah. Oh. Not just on the recording, it will last. Yeah. Not. But when? Yeah. But when, when, when they did the first poppy drop at Wayne Street, Barry Sears, our warrant officer, was on it. Barry Sears, our, our warrant officer, was on the aircraft to watch it happen. And he came back. Yeah, he's cutting metal. He's got it cut. Yeah. Right, so you're telling yeah. me about. Yeah, on, on, on the first practice, practice uh, poppy drop at Waynefleet, Barry, Barry Sears, our warrant officer, was on, on board at the time. And when the, when the aircraft taxied in, he was sat by the rear door, just looking out. And when he stopped, when he got to, he says, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. He said, uh, good. Yeah, Oh, it's finished, I think. Yeah. Right, where were we, John? Yeah. On, on, on the first poppy drop at Wainfleet, yeah. Barry Sears, our, our engineering officer, our warrant officer, was on board to observe what happened. And uh, when it taxied in, he was sat, sat on the step of the rear door. And it, when the aircraft stopped and he got out, he said, absolutely amazing. There's a little whip aerial. Just, just a thin aerial which is below and forwards of the, of the rear door. He says, well, there's a poppy wrapped round it and it's just as it shut the engines down, it fell off. <laughs> Amazing. It's been thing. strapped on there. Yeah, yeah, all that time. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But it seems to be a successful drop, didn't it? Oh, well, well, it, it certainly it, was. Yeah. But the most spectacular one was for the... Um, down the mall. The, the, down the mall. That, that was my Chatterton. That's, well, that's yeah, it's my Chatterton that did that. Oh, dear, oh, dear, yeah. 